If the programming of the workpiece is finished, press the Execute soft key on the vertical bar. The control will take you directly to the machine area screen. Move the tool away from the workpiece to a safe position using the jog mode. Make sure the ROV and single block on the machine control panel are active. Press Auto Mode. Press Program Control. Press Dry Run Feed Rate. The feed rate used in the program is now set to a specified value, which can be found in Offset and Setting Data. The reason therefore is to make the program faster. At dry run you only want to see if the distances and directions are correct. Adjust the feed rate potentiometer to zero. Press the vertical soft key actual value work. Now press the cycle start button to dry run the program. Every press of the cycle start button will run only one block because single block is active. Single block through the header. When it gets to the tool line, the tool display will update. When it gets to the tool change line, manually change the tool in the machine. When it gets to the spindle line, the spindle will start to rotate. Check the spindle speed. When it gets to the motion line, check the distance to go and ask yourself if that is correct to avoid a collision with the billet or chuck. Move to the position slowly using the feed rate rotary potentiometer. Set at zero at the end of the block. Check the distances to go before increasing the feed rate using the potentiometer. Check the distance to go. It should move to the tool change point. Face minimum would have been completed now. Do this sequence for the remaining program and follow the six instructions. First, feed rate rotary potentiometer at zero. Second, press cycle start. Third, check the information on the screen. Fourth, use the feed rate rotary potentiometer slowly. Fifth, double check of the movement in the machine. Sixth, feed rate rotary potentiometer at zero again.